What up, what up, what up, ladies and gents? Mr. Harris here. I want to talk about Method Man and uh, him not going on tour with Wu-Tang. Not from knocking a man's decision. I mean, sh <laughs> more power to him. You know, it's kind of to decipher and, and go into the fact of you know, he made a statement. He said, I'm 51. I've got options. And when he says he's 51 and he has options, it's, it's mean that for the duration of his career, that he's been involved in movies, he's been, he's been involved in music, he's been involved in different ventures, and he did the right thing, which was put away money and invested in... in put money reinvesting into his brand his name his his method method man is his brand and it it distinctly stands out from the rest of Wu-Tang even though other members are popular as well none of them as none of them are as popular as method man and you know I, I'm just so proud of him to see that so, so many so many older let's be honest a lot of older black men, especially rappers, they don't do it right. By 51, 51, they're broke. And don't get me wrong, he still has a long way to go to where he has to manage and maintain that wealth and grow it. But to see that he at least put away something is, is beautiful to me. I think it's it's inspiring because it's it shows what is possible when you put your head down and just tuck away not not be caught up in trying to impress and look like this person or that person but just put your money down and and put your head down and just work he said 51 and it's funny because that's 20 years from where i am now and i'm looking at my life and i'm, I'm like you know i got the clipboard here I'm, I'm making plans writing notes down and i'm thinking about my next 10 years my next 20 years where I want that to be, how I want that to look and stuff like that. And I'm excited. I'm excited because even though I'm not where I want to be, even though I'm going through financial challenges like everybody else, I know that I am going to continue to put my head down. The fellas went out last night. The fellas went out last night and I wanted to go out. I wanted to go out, but I said, I can't deviate from what my plan is what my goal is and where I need my time to go how I need to get rest how I need to make sure that I'm up and how I go to bed early and that I'm up up, up early so that I can be productive you know I've been asking myself as a millionaire how would my lifestyle look how would I conduct my days and I said to myself I'd be up 4 35 in the morning I would take three hours to uh, do my morning routine by 8 a.m. I would be sitting down at it within my business uh, or at my desk office and I would be checking the markets the crypto markets the stock market getting prepared writing down calculations and numbers so that I can be aware of that from there I would uh, 8 o'clock to 1 o'clock I would spend my time uh, growing my business you know I said to myself even as a millionaire I would still want to go out there and door knock I would still want to go out there and cold call I would still want to go out there and be in front of the public to meet people to talk to people to build my business like when I had that realization that it's not just right now as I need to do it it's I would still do it even when I'm set because I want that I want that chase for the deal for, for meeting new people for a new adventure new discovery it's beautiful to me but I'm saying this is what I would do as a millionaire and then from there 12 one o'clock I go to lunch for a half an hour from 12 let's say 1 1 30 um, after taking a lunch break after prospecting for for three four or five hours a day okay let me <laughs> I'm gonna save all that for another video actually keeping it on method man I just want to say as black men we need to pay attention to men like this is there an opportunity is there a possibility that we could be as big as Method Man? Sure, maybe. At the same time, maybe not. No matter what, we can still be significantly better to have options at 51. And the man looks great for 51. You can't tell me he's not 
still taking down 20, 30 something year old young ladies. I'm not saying that's the goal, but you keep yourself together, you keep your money proper, you see what the opportunities are. Look at Nas. Even Nas is doing very well. In an industry when so many black men don't do well. So it's beautiful. Shout outs to Method Man. Shout outs to Wu Tang. This, this is a sign, a learning lesson, that as young men, as black men, as older black men, we need to take the time to really put in the work and we will have options later on in life. I ain't saying that life ain't gonna be perfect. There's still challenges with more money, more things we gotta be careful of. Females, drugs, alcohol, gambling, overspending, so much more to look out for. But we can definitely do it. Shout out to Method Man. Shout out to Nas, and shout outs to the men who have built themselves, have built themselves to have options. That's it. Later.